are watching Faith World TV. Faith World TV, changing the world with the Word of God. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are around the world. It's me, Mavis Amankwa. We are back Wednesday, 1.30 GMT for the Business and Community Matters show. Really good to see you. And last week was the first introduction to this show. And it's really great to see you all again. Just recapping on last week, if you remember, it was all about accessing funding. So if you are a community interest company, social enterprise, a charity, a ministry, or you want to work within the community and you want some funding, get in touch with me on this show. So I gave you loads of tips last week. I hope you did your homework and I will be sharing some more information towards the end of the show in regards to accessing funding. Or maybe you just want some business tips and ideas. You want to do something that's different, outrageous. Maybe you want to sort out your marketing. How about your social media? So much to do in the life of working within the community, within business and within ministry. So hello once again. As always, each week I bring you the best, great topics, great news, great information. And today I'm going to be having a conversation with an amazing business lady and entrepreneur who has been running business for many years and she's going to be telling us more about her very soon. But just remember, every Wednesday, I am here. If you want to know more, if you want to send in some information, you want to ask questions, feel free to email me, business at mavisamanqua.com or you can go to www.mavisamanqua.com and you can get all the information about what I do and what I do with my team and how we can help you. Anyway, moving on. I love when I have guests, especially guests that are mothers, that are wonder women, that do so many things. As women, we are on the rise in business, in community, and we are always striving for the best. So I'm so happy to introduce to you Glory Amwambo, and she is the CEO, MD of Glory Edward Nutrition. Hello. Thank you so much, Bevis, for having me today. It's really nice to meet you for the first time. Yes. Well, please introduce <laughs> yourself to everybody. Okay. My name is Glory um, Amayambo and um, the name of my business is Glory Edward Nutrition Limited. Great. And what does your business do? Um, Glory Edward Nutrition, we focus on women's health and we help women to get better. I believe that women should take care of themselves more. Because whilst I was working full time before I started my business, I really didn't have time for myself. I would eat lunch at the desk, Oops. not going to lunch or anything. But, um, you know, I started to have lots of issues and I decided, you know what, I need to take care of myself. And I also need to encourage other women. And then I started to find out that food does help you to heal your body. Um, so that's what I decided to do to help okay. other women like myself, busy women, working full time and okay. also taking care of kids. Great. Well, thank you. And what about the men? Hopefully the men can also get some nutrition, too. I think it's important, <laughs> right? I do help men, but I focus on women. Okay. You know, but of course, I believe that, you know, when you help the woman, she will always bring the husband. So that's my policy. Very true. Yes. Well, really good to have you on here today. And uh, I'd just like to know a little bit about what made you start business and how long have you been running business for? Um, we run business for a long time. Um, I first started helping people set up their own business because I used to be a teacher. So I used to help my students set up their business, create websites and stuff. So I helped a lot of colleagues, um, you know, set up their own business, do all this stuff. But I never really got paid for it. <laughs> and then I decided that, you know, I wanted to do something that I was really passionate about. Um, so I decided to start this nutrition business. But the reason why I did it was because I had so many health issues. Okay. Um, one of it was acne. You know, I had acne at old age. So I had mm. to go to the doctors quite a lot because I was in so much pain, wow. blood and all sorts of things. So um, I was given medication and I was told that this medication could damage your organs. Wow. 
And so I decided, you know, I don't want anything to down wrong because I would need to find out the right um, things to take to make sure that my organs are not damaged. Um, so I started to research what foods can I eat, what things can I do to help my health. And that's how it started. Okay. Um, and I also had dry skin. And so I had to find products that would make my skin not itch or anything like that. Yeah. Great. Do you know what I love <laughs> when people start a business? Most people start a business or an initiative or a project or a campaign out of their own lived experience. And we're hearing from Glory that from her lived experience, she has managed to turn her lived experience, her passion, what she really, you know, was, was something that was really bothering her, you know, her health, her skin and so forth into a business to help others. So well done. Congratulations. So how long has the business been Thank going? You. Um, since 2001. That's okay. That's when it started. Um, okay. That's when it started. And, and what's the actual, uh, the, the actual services or products that you provide? Please share with us. Okay. So we do milk plans for people that you know want to change so if you had diabetes for example we could do your meal plan for a month or seven days okay so meal longer. plans is one mm -hmm. so meal plans we do body scans so we scan your body to find out your deficiency with minerals um vitamins people are obviously deficient in vitamins with so when when i do the scan we check your blood we check your heart your kidneys your liver your lungs and all the things, you know, all the organs, basically, we check. Um, also, we do ready meals as well. We do okay. ready meals. Yeah. And the ready meals, why do you do the ready meals? Um, for people that um, don't like to cook. Well, for the ready meals, for example, that is Healthy where the men, the men come in. So the men, obviously, that don't like to cook, single men, would obviously patronise me. <laughs> so, yeah. Great. That's it. And when That's we're fun. looking at... Um, busy people i mean i'm a busy person i'm yeah. everywhere you know i'm running a business running a home running a family helping the community and just always on the go yeah. and sometimes you know i remember many years ago it was probably about 20 years ago i caught or maybe about 25 actually i caught something called shingles and it actually made me stop mm -hmm. and say check out yourself so for busy people like myself mm -hmm. Can you give us some tips when it comes to either nutrition or detoxing ourselves? Give us about three tips that we can do as busy people well, every day. I mean, everyone's busy. All of us are busy. Um, but how can we, you know, look after ourselves at the same time? Obviously, we need to slow down because that's really important. We've just come from the Easter break, which is great. Gives you time to rejuvenate, renew and, and refresh. But please give us some tips. The first thing I would say to anyone is that sleep. Sleep is very important. The second thing I would say is drink lots and lots of water. Um, I'll use myself as an example. I like to yes, do that. Of course. Um, when I am dehydrated, how I know is that I have headache at the back of my head. So if you are having a headache and you think, oh, you're almost having a headache, one of the reasons why is because you are dehydrated. Your body is just trying to give you a sign that you are dehydrated. So drink lots of water. People say to me, well, I drink two liters of water. I always say to you, try to push it to five liters. And I, one tip I always say to people, don't sip the water from the bottle, just drink the bottle one time. That does help in terms of making sure that you've had enough water into your system. And um, the first thing I would say to you is for in terms of drinking water, make sure you drink water at the beginning of the day. So when you wake up first thing before you go to the toilet, drink water and then before you leave your house drink another bottle of water at least you've had your one liter mm. and then drink water throughout the day so plan your water drink water before you eat as well and the last and final thing i wanted to say in terms of detoxing is try your best to make sure your phones are far far away oh, from ouch. your body <laughs> from your bed you know people uh, watch their phone like fantastic. you know watching stuff and that happens so those are the three things i would like to say because people go into detox you know it's very good to do detox at least twice a year you know where you're fasting or you do intermittent fasting and all that sort of stuff but when you do all those things, take all those products, if you're not sleeping, you're not drinking water and you have your phones around, it does cause a lot of problems. So you're not going to get the benefits of all the things that you're doing if you're not resting. So rest definitely helps in terms of detoxing. Great. Thank you. Well, mm. you've heard it. You've heard it. <laughs> For busy people like myself and everybody else, sleep, number one key. 
<laughs> we <laughs> need to sleep. <laughs> and do you know what I find really interesting? When she talks about water, you never hear anybody saying you are drinking too much water. It's like you can dress, drink water as much as you want. So definitely remember, it's all about making sure that you drink water. And one of the sins of this world, <laughs> technology, the phones, they're yeah. just in our hand. They're at our fingertips. They're all around us. So it's been able to keep away from them phones, turn them off and make sure that you follow some of these guides as well. Make sure you follow these guides as well. So I understand you have a present for me. I oh, love thank presents. You so much for I what love presents. Me today. I've got a mini present for you. One, a sea moss. I'm sure you've heard about sea moss and Ooh. other sea moss things. So this is for busy people like me. So we've <laughs> so got some sea moss. sea moss here. So we've got yes. um, some organic Irish sea moss. So first yes. of all, let's go through the, you know, obviously we're talking about business. We're yes. talking about busy people. So this is a, a business. I This is a business product in terms of selling mm. and also health. So tell us a little bit about Irish moss. What does that do? Oh, it helps with your hair, it helps with your skin. It also helps to coat your um, gut for people that have gut issues. People that really, really want to put a lot of nutrients in their body that it's got 96 minerals. So you're taking in 96 minerals just by taking sea moss. And you can add it to your smoothie, you can add it to oats, you can add it to a juice, you can add it to whatever. You can just soak it, blend it, and put it in the fridge and take it one teaspoon every day. Ooh, yes. there you go. Busy person, make sure <laughs> you go for the Irish, Irish sea moss. Sea moss. Yeah, sea thank moss. you so much. Thank, thank you. you. So I need to start this one as soon as possible. <laughs> Great, thank you. I've and also got the vitamin E oil. Okay, tell me a little bit about the vitamin E oil. Uh, that's the one I use for my face because I try my best not to use anything that's got chemicals. So I use vitamin e oil and I also take it as well as a supplement so, so yeah. you can drink this one you can drink that one yeah. oh okay so, so this is one. a vitamin e oil so i can put it on my on face, my face. Very and i can skin. also 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 drink it so yeah. how much would you drink though um just one tablespoon okay. one teaspoon teaspoon okay teaspoon. one teaspoon okay Every so morning. <laughs> Everybody in the next <laughs> six weeks, just look and see if I'm going to be glowing. It just just be. see what's going to be happening and make sure you send me your comments and your it feedback. Be, so we've got glowing. the organic vitamin oil. Another gift for me. Thank you. And this one is um, the rice mask. Rice mask. Never heard of rice um, mask. Ladies it's and gentlemen, very good if you have mask. dry skin. It's good to brighten your complexion. It also draws out toxins. So when you put it on, you just mix it with a tiny bit of water, put, apply it on your face, leave for 15 minutes. Your face starts to get really bright and it does take out toxins. So, yeah. Okay, so this is taking out toxins. We've got the rice mask. So <laughs> as I said, keep watching. Keep watching and see how I glow over the next few months. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's those lovely yes, items that you've got for me. So I've got three Thank lovely you. items. I'm really, really happy about that. So she's given us some information on how we can look after ourselves and, you know, make sure that even though we're busy, that we are also ensuring that we are looking after ourselves internally and externally and also taking the right things because sometimes it's about the right advice, getting the right advice and knowing what to take what's good, what's not good, and what everything is doing. So but I believe all of these products here definitely have benefits. So before we talk a little bit more about business, because I want to ask you some questions about business, and, you know, please share with us, how do we get in contact with you if people want to buy um, I'm on Instagram, um, Gloria.Nutrition. I've also got a YouTube channel where I record different things about how you can make yourself better. I've done videos on um, arthritis, diabetes, blood pressure, um, lupus. So if you have any of those issues, yeah, you can find lots of useful information that will help with your situation. So normally when I do the videos, I always include exercise that you can do. I include the foods that you can eat, foods especially that you have to avoid. Definitely, I include that in the videos that I do and a lot of information that you probably do not know about. Okay, great. And talking about exercise, <laughs> that's another one. Okay. What kind of exercise can we do? I think the best exercise for busy people is walking. Walking? Yes. It, you know, for many people, they drive or they take Uber these days. But, True. you know, try your best to, if you do take the bus or the train, you know, get off maybe 
a little bit farther from where you're going. So you can have at least 10 minutes walk or wake up early and do your prayer walk. Like I would like to say, you know, go walk around two streets. If you do that every day, you will definitely lose a little bit of weight. And also stay healthy as well. Which yep. is good. Yeah. Okay, so that's great. the best exercise because lots of people pay for the gym and they never go to the gym. <laughs> So walking is the best one. Just walk, you know, your street and then the next street. You know, if you do five minutes every day, it would help. Great. Well, there you yeah. have it. She's given us loads of tips on detoxing, staying healthy, exercising, keeping those phones away and getting some sleep as well as drinking loads of water. So after the show, I'm going to be really just gulping down the water and making sure I take loads of it because you're right it's about dehydration and making mm. sure that we are hydrated mm. so thank you so much for thank that you so you've much. shared all your details so I just want to talk a little bit about business because this is the business and community show with mm -hmm. myself Mavis Amankwa and um there's loads of people that are watching and a lot of people are thinking about doing business looking at what they can do, whether it's having a job, a part-time job and running a business. Can you tell us how it was for you starting a business? Was there any challenges that you had along the way? <laughs> I think with anything, there's always challenges. Um, one of the challenges that you get first is your family telling you, oh my God, why do you want to do this? You know, you have to work, you have to get a job, you have to have steady income. I think you have to know what your vision is you have to know sometimes for people that are christians you have to know what god has told you and if you have that backing you don't need to worry but um for challenges obviously financial there's always mm. a lot of things that you need to do finances but like i say to new people that are trying to start business you don't really need finance uh, the first thing you need to know what you want to do you need to know your target audience um, you need to think about how you're going to promote yourself lots of people say oh you know i don't like to be in front of the camera then you're not ready <laughs> because that's one thing that you need to do to promote your business. Word of mouth does sell, I mm. think. And, you know, if you do good service, give good customer service, you will definitely get people coming to do stuff with you. And what about business planning? Do you feel that, you know, people always say, oh, maybe you should have a business plan. Is it essential? What, what, what's your views on that? I think it's very essential that you have a business plan. I know these days people say, oh, you know, you don't need a business plan anymore. You definitely need a business plan, I'm not just for that. today. Even 2025, High you five. need a business plan. <laughs> The reason why, because I've met a lot of people. Um, yeah. I spoke. I was speaking to a lady last week, and she said, "Oh, she wants to, you know, do a business wedding planner." And mm -hmm. I said, "Oh, um, wh who are the people that you want?" And she said, "Oh, she just has a passion for it." I said, "Okay, so what's the name?" She's had the name for two years, you know. So mm -hmm. I said to her, "Do you know what? Do me a pitch deck. You know, tell me all the different things that you want to do. Your competitors, how you're gonna market." She said, "Oh no, she hasn't thought about that yet." Oh. And I was like, "Wow, you're not ready." She says, "Oh no, I need you to hold my hand and tell me what to do." I said, "Well." I'm not ready to do that because it's your business. You need to find out what other people are doing, you know, see if it's something you can do. She said, you know, I want to do business, but I don't want to make so much money. I just want to do it as a side hustle. Okay. So if you're thinking of doing business and not taking it seriously, I would advise you to just stick to your nine to five job. Exactly. Because but business, business is a plan stuff. is something mm. that you need to do. Okay. And it's a working document. It's not, yeah. it's not a document that is permanent for life. It's something that you keep changing. You keep adding more stuff. When I started my business, um, I started off just doing, you know, advising people and stuff. And, but now, you know, we've come up with products. We are doing scans. We are going to different cities. Two weeks ago, I was in Oxford. So, again, you know, you do different things. You do talks. You, you know, you just have to keep telling people the things. And, and you know, you have to have your story. I think lots of people yeah. say you have to have your story. So, yeah, that's, that's my tip. Wow, I love that. This is, <laughs> this is a real, real serious serial entrepreneur. She knows her stuff, <laughs> and she's given the best advice. And sometimes that's what we need. We need good advice. We need to have role models that can help us along the way i always say to people get yourself a mentor get yourself a coach that can guide you mm -hmm. and also just you know be there and support because would you agree mm -hmm. with me business yeah. is quite a lonely world it right? is it is it is it is you know um business is not like nine to five so you definitely will have to put in the extra hours. I think for me, sometimes I, I go to bed late because there's so much to you do. You need to be sleeping. I know. <laughs> but I'm saying, you know, you, yeah. no, but you, but you, why I'm saying that is yeah. that if you are planning to do business, it's not like nine to five. The, true. You have to discipline yourself to say, you know what, after six o'clock, I stop. And that's what I'm doing now. After six o'clock, I say to myself, I'm not doing anything to do work so I can do other things. 
So again, but for the first few weeks, few months, mm. you will definitely be going over that time to make sure that everything is right, you know, contacting suppliers, lots of things that you have to do in business. So it, yeah. it is... Good. It and, is a long and the fact that you've been going for you know over five years, they say that most businesses, you know, one in five businesses mm -hmm. will fail within five years. You know that is research, that is statistics. So it's good to see that you're still well, not that you're still going, that you're continuing I'm to grow. <laughs> you know, starting off as on services, advice. Mm -hmm. Now you're doing products. So congratulations to you. Yeah. And just before we finish off our mm -hmm. interview today, um, you're talking about women. Yeah. And women, it can be very difficult for us when we want to start a business. Maybe we've got some ideas. Um, we get, you know, nervous. We're not sure. Have you got any tips for a woman that's at home this afternoon, this evening, wherever she is, that wants to start? Have you got any tips for her? I think the first thing is to follow your passion. So if you like sewing, that's the business for you. If you like cooking or baking... That's the business that you need to start from. And then all the other ideas that you have rolling around, write them down and be very clear what you want to do. Research and what other people are doing. Research the things that, you know, you would like to add to your business. You might not do them now, but you would probably do them in future. Yeah. Okay, so there you go. You have to go for your passion. Mm -hmm. You have to do what you want. And do you believe getting a mentor and a coach is important? I think so. I think you have to have a coach for life and a mentor for life. And also don't be afraid to pay someone to mentor you. I think it's very important that you pay someone because then... Um, it's not like if you don't pay someone, you don't get it. But then they, yeah. they go all out for you. They give you the best things. They give you tips. And for those people that are looking for free things, I think the world of free is way, way <laughs> Exactly. You get so what please, you, you know, contact Mavis for help. But please pay as well. <laughs> <laughs> and um, just before we wrap up, you are a mother. Yes. So how do you juggle it all family motherhood how do you how how did you do it i mean i'm not sure how your your how old your kids are but when you first started did you did that stop you or was there reason was you thinking about the kids how's it been for you to be honest i uh, if i tell you a little bit of myself i was a teacher for 14 years in college so i was a business teacher and um so i put everything on hold for my son and then when um, he got older, I felt like, okay, now I can do something. So I only started in the business in 2021. Okay. Um, but before that, I put everything on hold. So I was always writing books, writing things, writing all the things I wanted to do in books. And then when obviously now he's 17, so now he can do things for me, help me with, you know, the back end, do some stuff. Um, to do with um, the accounts and stuff. Then now technology. I can technology. Yes. You see, good at technology. No, they are very good. I think it's a natural for them. Exactly, it comes yes, natural. Yeah, they're very natural. Okay, so for their mums as well, there is also the opportunity where you can juggle the family, you can juggle the children, and you can actually fulfil your dream. One thing I always say is I love the quote from Michael, Michael Jordan that says, I'd rather die trying than not trying at all. And I think sometimes as women, as people, we do get that kind of nervousness. We're not sure if we want to do it. And sometimes people can really kind of detract us, which you were speaking about earlier. So how do you overcome something like that where someone's saying to you, look, I don't think you could do it, especially if it's someone that you love and someone that you trust. I mean, you've, you, as you said, you had those kind of, you know, remarks and mm -hmm. now where, you know, they can see as anyone, do you remember, you know, those days when people were saying to you, oh yeah, maybe you can, or maybe you can't, but have they seen you now and seen how you're flourished and grown? Um, yes, many close friends, because <laughs> my background is in law and many of my friends say, so, you know, you've left all these things and you are now going to do business on your own. It's very hard. And because I started just around COVID, you know, it's a harder time. <laughs> When, you know, money is sharp for lots of people. So people keep telling you, oh, you know, business, you know, you have to make the money. Mm. Um, but I think one of the things that has really helped me is God. You know, I constantly mm. pray to God for help. And I also pray to God to bring good people my way. I've met a lot of suppliers, lots of people, you know, don't be afraid to ask for help. And don't be afraid to contact organizations if you need their products or services. They are not going to bite you. They will help if they can. <laughs> Right, there you go. Yeah. Don't be afraid to ask for help. See, sometimes as Christians, we're always praying and saying, look, God, just make it happen for me. And, you know, we're there spiritually, but we need the physical too. We need to do the physical. We need to go and get, and we need to make sure that we bring the right people on board 
who know what they're doing, that can advise you and help you grow. Because it's not easy. So I want to say thank you thank so, you much so much for joining the Business and Community Matters show with myself, Mavis Amankwa. Just before we go, please, can you just share your details with us again? Okay. <laughs> the name of the business is Glory Edward Nutrition Limited, and the website is gloryedward.co.uk. And the number to call me on is 027-175-5108. Great, thank you. Well, I've got my rice mask, <laughs> yep. my vitamin E oil, and I've got my Irish moss. So, as I said, just keep watching. So, thank you so much, Glory, for thank joining you me. Much. And thank you to everybody that has managed to watch today. I hope you found it informative and you're going to be taking away some tips. Remember, I'm going to be back here next week, Wednesday, live 1.30 GMT on the Business and Community Matters show with myself, Mavis Amankwa. Remember, if you're looking for funding, you want to grow that business, you've got a project you want to really kickstart and you want some advice, you want some tips, you want some guidance, you want some support, you need to come on here and watch or you can be in contact with me at mavisamankwa.com you can go onto our website and find out more about what we do but we are here to help you to grow to make a difference to make a change so for me today i just want to say thank you so much and i'll see you next week watching Faith World TV. Faith World TV, changing the world with the Word of God.